Hey guys, this is James. And this is Denny from TDB, bringing you guys another episode, episode 36. Yes, that's what we just decided. We're going to go with it. Why not? Yep. Why not indeed. So today we are drinking another offering from Origin Tea and another Da Yuling. So you're wondering why the hell are these guys keeping filming Da Yulings, but because they're pretty awesome, they're pretty and good. you can actually have a lot of diversity. Like, really, when you're talking about Taiwanese teas, you refer to the mountain for a lot of the high mountain tea or right. the region that it's grown. Right. Um, but, I mean, like, a Da Yuling tea could be processed one way by another farmer and another by a different farmer. Right. Coincidentally, most process it very similarly, so mm -hmm. a lot of people will get that, I don't know, kind of mixed up in their head. And this one is nice because it's a little bit different. Uh, it's... Um, most Dailing, kind of like I said, was processed in like the greenest manner possible. Yep. And this one's a little bit different, a little bit more oxidized, a little mm -hmm. bit more of a roast on it. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just going to have a go. So we're going to preheat all of our teaware. Thank you, Tony. And um, yeah, excited to try this out. Um, it's interesting, this, this sort of uh, intermediary between a very, very green verdant oolong which um, is a very classic experience, and your very kind of traditional roasted oolong. It's hard for me sometimes to place these sort of in between teas, uh, but one of the reasons why I like them so much. So, yep, excited to give this a go. And to clarify, this tea is still pretty dark Definitely. green. Yeah. Um, yeah. But compared to some dialing, not as much. Mm. Very sweet, honey. Kind of classic flavors. Smells really nice. How much um, how much tea are we using? How, so how big is the one? We are using about seven and a half grams of okay. tea, and this guy one's about a hundred and twenty milliliters. Cool. We're gonna give it a rinse. Although honestly, you probably actually don't even need this rinse because yeah. this tea is pretty clean. Yeah, I was gonna say, we've had some from Origins Tea already, and the quality has been spectacular. Um, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I've actually been in contact with Tony about grabbing some of his um, off-label Yeah, teas. so Tony over at Origin Tea specializes in tea. He's based in Taiwan, and he sells a lot of Taiwanese oolongs. But Taiwan is a ridiculous tea place. Denny and I were actually just talking about this. And the tea culture there is pretty insane, and we really want to go. Um, sponsor but, us. Yeah, sponsor us, exactly. <laughs> Give us all your money so we can go buy tea. Well, and... Film TDV. And film TDV, and put your logo on everything except for tattooed on my, on my forehead. James's forehead is, on, is still... Fair game. Fair game. Yeah. Cool. So you're going to basically just flash deep this... Um, eh, 15 seconds. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to go probably 15... 15, and then start to increase time a little bit, yeah. Really, um, kind of clear... Yellowish, uh, a yellowish. little bit more yellow. Um, usually the first steep's a little bit fainter than this. Definitely. So, uh, a little bit different, but um, still, I wouldn't say it's altogether too different in terms of complexion. Are we using, basically, just straight off the boil water here? Exactly, yeah. And most Oof, really hot. good high high mountain Gaoshan is going to be, which is another word for high mountain tea, it's going to be really, really forgiving in how you brew it. Like So if your mom is the type that does forget about it and lets it steep for a while, it'll probably turn out pretty okay if it's a good, good tea. Cool. Let's give it a go. Yep. Cheers. First steeping, so thin viscosity, full body. Definitely a full body, especially for a first steep. Um, it's got a really nice sweetness, mm -hmm. sugary, sugar cane-ish mm -hmm. um, to it. Yeah. Um, pretty balanced, too. So, things that this isn't, um, I wouldn't call this minerally, I wouldn't call it overly floral, I wouldn't even call it overly fruity. Um, I get kind of like that sweet, yep. uh, maybe grassy a little bit, little bit. Um, Not much. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, for this tea, I really get a strong sweetness to it. Right. And that's probably one of the strongest things I get. And one of the things you look for when you're looking at these high mountain gaoshan um, is called hui gan, which is like the sweetness that kind of returns to your throat. 
And that's what a lot of the real uh, connoisseurs of the Taiwanese tea market look for when you're talking about uh, high mountain tea. And I think you definitely get a lot of that here. Yeah, really nice. Just lovely, uh, very clear tasting. It almost feels like too late in the day to be drinking this. Yeah. It's such a clear, crisp... Um, it reminds me of the feeling of walking out in the cold air and breathing in some cold air in the morning. It kind of wakes you up, but in a, uh, I don't know, not like I'm getting hit over the head with coffee or anything like that. Mm-hmm. It's nice. Yeah, it's very nice. And so this, if you remember last episode, we filmed 104K dialing. This is 102K dialing. So it's a little bit lower in elevation, but still extremely high, like 2,500, 2,600 meters up. So that's very, very um, high in terms of elevation. You know, I'm getting some of the kind of roasted flavors of very late in the mm-hmm. in the like a little experience bit of, of it. corn roasted. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, look at that turn, kind of more golden, getting a little bit more of the orange in there. Yep. So we should probably expect even more of a body as kind of the rolled leaves open up. Mm-hmm. Um, that's pretty typical. The second steep, as I think we've talked about in a couple episodes, is kind of the money steep for high mountain oolong. So um, this is the steep that you really look to to get the most out of. Right, cheers. cheers. Mm. Mm. I think even more of that roastedness, that kind of corn sweetness is coming out here. Definitely. Um, the roast would also theoretically, I think, bring out a little bit more sweetness than your uh, average ultra green, mm-hmm. uh, nuclear green right. high mountain tea. Which would be a little bit more minerally, a little bit more earthy maybe. Um, mm. Still sweet, still light. This is really pleasant. I definitely would drink this in the morning. I don't know why. It just feels like a that kind of a tea. Um, it's been, I've not been drinking any oolong, though. Really, maybe a little bit of oriental beauty. Um, but a lot of black tea, a lot of red puer tea right now. Yep. So, yep. yep. We are in the uh, middle of winter slash fall in Seattle, which, as <laughs> yeah, anyone <laughs> knows that lives this far north, it's dark. It's dark. Um, yeah, it gets dark at 4 p.m., so... <laughs> Uh, we have lots of seasonal affective disorders, so I don't know about you, Denny, but I usually just go home and I cry. And if I <laughs> muster up the energy to make tea, it's usually a dark tea. Similar. I do similar <laughs> things. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, You're like, I just drink the right beer. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so I just want to speak to the quality of presentation of the leaves. Unbelievable, actually. Um, I think we're just seeing consistently really, really good quality leaves. Yeah. So you'll see big, uh, nice, and whole leaves from this. You're not going to get like the ground up stuff you get in tea bags, right? Mm. Definitely agree with you in that sort of the roasted flavor really coming out to sort of the front mm-hmm. of the taste now, um, in the flavor rather. Yeah, it almost reminds me of some of those Korean teas we had, mm-hmm. except with a much, much stronger body. Like this is a. Like compared to those green teas, you're getting you're getting significant body here. Yeah, less I'd say maybe less viscous, mm-hmm. um, and uh, more body. Yeah, mm. interesting. Yep, and this is really tasty. The leaves are just filling up the guy one right Completely. now. How about you? When do you think you would be drinking this, James? You know, this is a really nice tea. Um, I could drink this. Um, yeah, you know, the morning is a pretty good time for me for Gaoshan. Like, if it's a Saturday or something like that, mm-hmm. I'll wake up and I'll have a little bit of time in the morning. So I'll go ahead right. and session a tea. Um, and this tea, it's really, really nice. This could go for a lot of steep. So make sure you got the time and Definitely. and the place to uh, put towards this tea. It's also not the cheapest tea, as you'll realize that no real dialing is, just because the growing conditions are so challenging. Yep. But... Um, yeah, you know, I could drink this tea anytime, but the morning time, I would generally agree, would be a pretty solid time to uh, have a go at it. Hmm. Lovely. Color is getting richer and richer. Mm. Ooh, and it's actually evolving a little bit. That sweetness is a little bit different, I would say. Yeah, I'm getting more, like, spices. Yeah, definitely more of that corn flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this tea is uh, evolving as we drink it. Wonderful. So this would be maybe a little bit out of your daily drinker price range? Definitely. Um, Dialing in general tends to go for $20 plus an ounce. 
Um, and so that's that's expensive, right. especially for someone like people like us that tend to use a lot of leaf. Um, then you're talking about like five dollars a session, um, which is a lot for a session. Mm-hmm. Um, but I would definitely drink this. Like I definitely there's a time and there's a place for high mountain tea, and if you're rich, maybe every day. It's it's a time and a place for it. I wish I was rich. I, I would drink this every day. <laughs> well, and I think it's a testament to, like we've been saying, to the quality of the tea as well as the the difficulty of actually producing this tea. the 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 price is going to be a little bit higher. Um, and it's going to be um, just a better experience overall. Yep. So you know, maybe you buy your cheap Starbucks beans or whatever beans you buy for your coffee, for your daily sort of pot of instant coffee or whatever, and then you go and treat yourself to a really great cappuccino every once in a while. Yep, or a really nice cocktail, another good analogy yeah. that Denny's made in the past. Yeah. Uh, anyways, where can someone find out more about this tea? I have no... Oh, <laughs> tdv.org uh, is, a, is a great resource for anyone who's interested in learning about tea and learning about um, specifically high mountain Taiwanese oolong tea. James has done it ton of writing about the topic and we've we've brought a bunch of different Taiwanese high mountain oolongs to the show so check yeah. us out on YouTube as well um TDB org TDB yeah, something like that yeah you search for know. TDB it will we'll pop up everywhere it's on the site too um please subscribe if you like our stuff uh yep. and comment if you have any questions yep and thanks for watching guys cheers